Hey guys, this is Drew Brash through DBB Audio. I am continuing my video series on the Behringer Wing, and I have set out a whole bunch of videos from 100 series, 200 series, and now we're in the 300 series, basically going from very basic to more advanced. If you are seeing one of these videos for the first time, make sure you go back and check out my first video, which is an overview of the Behringer Wing, and then also go through all of the different sections of the Behringer Wing that I've been really leasing, as then you will be able to understand more about the board. If you haven't yet, go check out my blog at dbbaudio.com. I have a whole bunch of free information there and a bunch of different blog posts. And then as well, please subscribe to my YouTube channel as you will be up to date on the most recent videos that I am releasing. So in this video, this is video 301, and I'm going to be talking today about how to set up a send for a reverb or a delay. The Behringer Wing is a little bit different than the Behringer X32 in that there are no effects returns anymore. So you can either set up one of your mix buses to be a effect return, or you can set one of your auxiliary channels to pull from the effect. So let's go ahead and dive in and see how this is done. Now the setup of an effect is still the same way. We need to set up an effect bus for sending to that effect. So I need to decide what I'm going to feed an effect with. Let's go ahead and set up a vocal reverb. So when setting up an effect, I need to send a certain amount of channels to that effect. And that is going to happen through the mix buses. So I'm going to choose mix bus 1 as my effect send for effects 1. So let's go ahead and set that up. We'll go to bus masters, select bus 1, Press home, and we're going to set this up as a post fader send. And then when we get back up to here, I'm going to call this effects one verb. And then in the icon, I'm going to select effects. The next thing that I'll want to do is I'll want to actually insert an effect on this mix bus. Sounds a little bit weird. Usually we would have an effect being fed from a mix bus, but in this case, we're actually going to insert that effect directly on this mix bus. So we're going to pick the pre-fader insert point, which is right here. And I'm going to go and select an effects processor, which is gonna be my effects processor one. I can then go select one of my favorite reverbs that I would like, and then I just need to turn it on. After that, we can go ahead and take this and turn it up to Unity. This means that anything that we now send to this, we'll be able to listen to. Now that we have this mix bus sending to this reverb, we actually want to be able to listen to it. Now I have two ways of getting this set up to be able to feed into my main bus. I can either feed this directly from this mix bus, meaning that my master level is going to be my volume of this reverb, or I can set it up through an auxiliary channel. So let's go with the mix bus first. I'm going to select that mix bus, go down into my main section, and turn this on. Because this is a vocal, I'm going to have it going into my vocal mix bus that I have set up. If you don't have multiple main buses set up, go ahead and send it to your main left right. Next, let's go ahead and play some music into this, and I'm going to get some vocals set up into this. To get vocals set up into this, I'm going to select my mix bus, press sends on fader, unmute the vocals that I want to have going into this, and turn them up. Now that we have vocals going into this, I can turn this up. Additionally, I can have this reverb go through one of my auxiliary channels. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing I'm going to do is remove this verb from the main bus that I have set up. The next thing I'm going to do is go over to the auxiliary channel that I would like this reverb to sit on. For instance, today I'm going to choose auxiliary 5. Then go to the input, source group, bus, vocal, verb, which is right here. 
I am then going to copy this over to the channel so it shows that I have my effects verb. I can now press done. And now when I press play, any of the audio going through this verb is going to show up right here on this auxiliary. So we can see volume here. We can also see volume right here. Now let's go ahead and set up a vocal delay. So I'm going to pick Mix Bus 2, and I'm going to go title this. We will then select this, sends on fader, unmute these, turn them up, set it as a post fader, and I am going to send this directly to my mains. Get out of sends on fader, go insert my effect, turn it on. And now we will have a vocal delay sitting on this fader. Now something that I typically like to do is send my vocal delay into my reverb. So one thing that we can do here is go into our bus sends and actually set this up as a send from my vocal delay into my vocal reverb. And I'll go ahead and set this at negative three. Let's go ahead and give it a listen. Now let's go ahead and set up a snare verb. I'm gonna go ahead and select Mix Bus 4, set this as post fader, insert another effects processor, turn it on, and we are going to name this drum verb, and we will send this directly to the mains, but this time on the band bus. Next, I'm going to press Sends on Fader, and I'm going to go over to my drums, and I'm going to pull up my drums. Now, I'm choosing to use my snare and my toms into this verb. Let's see how this sounds. So it's a little bit different than we have experienced in the X32 in that we don't have specific effects returns built into the channels. Instead, you can set up your mix buses to then feed into your main bus off of the effect. So that concludes this video on how to get a reverb or a delay set up on your Behringer wing. The next video is going to be how to actually insert an effect onto a channel. So let's go ahead and check that out next.